Hi everybody, this is Joel from Jonesy's Auto Club and I thought it would be a great opportunity to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the stock Toyota Land Cruiser 1997 inline 6 and the uh, used Cummins 6BT with an NV4500 transmission. So, um, as you can see I've got the stock Toyota <coughs> engine and transmission package sitting on a pallet um, and I have the Cummins suspended um, with the oil pan at the same height to give you a actual side-by-side -side comparison and surprisingly the uh, similarities are um, <clears throat> pretty staggering so to give you a good perspective here I've got the I've got the Cummins set pretty much the same spot on the back of the engine and you can see up front Cummins is just a little bit longer but not significantly um, the air conditioning pumps are on the same side of the engine. One's low, one's high. There's the turbo inlet. You come around and the width of them is not even that significantly different. Um, they are very similarly sized engines. As for the height, yep, here you can see the Cummins intake tube sits up quite a bit higher. Or I should say a little bit higher than the stock Toyota. Um, but with this package, there you can see that the Toyota transmission is longer than the NV4500. Some of the cool things about doing swaps like this is the starters are on the same side. The Cummins goes there. Toyota is there. The um, power steering pump is also on the driver's side as well as all the fuel which is standardized same same on the Cummins. Um, so lots of people think that the Cummins is just this behemoth of an engine um, but in reality yeah, it is not significantly bigger than the stock in line six that came out of the 97 Toyota. So what we've got here, just to reiterate really quickly, is we've got coming 6 BT NV4500 right next to a 1997 Toyota Land Cruiser inline six with an automatic transmission. So I'll give you guys one more quick walk around. Hopefully give you some good perspective so you can see. And they're pretty well lined up. And size-wise, they're not as different as one might think. Weight-wise, another story. The uh, Cummins weighs about 1,200 pounds. And I would say that the uh, Toyota is probably about 700, 800 pounds equipped the way that it is so weight is definitely something that you have to factor in but size is not necessarily an issue next step is going to be to uh, get the uh, Cummins installed into the chassis get all of our clutch linkages hooked up and uh, start going through another conversion don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and post your comments thank you